So today I want to talk about um, sifting and sifting fast. Um, so one of the things I've done recently is that I took the sifting screen, I flipped it upside down and then I put a piece of metal in here. And this comes from another community that sifts their products quite a bit. And they put a metal disc in to, to help uh, with the sifting process. So um, I thought I'd show how quickly that takes um, and then the hope that if you're interested in sifting and interested in you know changing up what you're you're, you're doing maybe this could, this could help. So I usually put in in this shot I'm putting in 21 and a half grams in case I lose um, lose a little bit of weight. I want to be able to do a comparison shot in this experiment that I'm currently working on. Oops. So. Um, I'm going to do a, a setting, a setting eight on the niche, uh, which is which is very fine, uh, definitely lower than the, the espresso range, but um, with sifting, it's it hits the right distribution for a good staccato shot. Slight loss on that. Okay, so here we can the last little bits and we can start a timer so you can see how long this is taking me. So. <laughs> They said in the previous video, signing up the jar really helps, but when you have an agitator, it's not a good answer. Okay, so that's Pause for a minute and talk about how much coffee we've gotten out through the bottom screen. So it's about 1.5 grams, but this speeds up. This should take about five minutes. And I'm using a 400 micron and a 500 micron screen. Pause another minute. So now we're at about six grams. So uh, quite a bit. Um, and then I think this has to go up to about nine grams based on a previous grind. Oops. Let's take a look. We're about eight grams. So you can see from this layer, it's uh, mostly getting out. It's...
71, about 10 grams. Okay, so about four minutes, I've got 10 grams. And then we're ready to make a shot. 